Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can fix the dreaded checking for Windows updates. Now this has plagued Windows 7 for quite a while and it's also caused a lot of problems in Windows 8 and Windows 10 in the past. And Windows updates is something that everyone likes to do and uh, of course when it goes wrong it frustrates people uh, knowing. So let's have a look at what we can do here. So we're on a Windows 7 machine but also we're going to be taking a look at fixing Windows 8 and 10 as well. So if we go into Windows Updates, this is what you'll get. And this will stay like this for hours upon hours. It will check for Windows Updates and it won't work. And the reason for that is because it's missing files. Uh, it hasn't been updated for a while or whatever other reasons it is, it may be corrupted some way. Uh, the Windows Update's got files missing or it's broken and we can go ahead and uh, fix some of those issues. So let's take a look at what we can do to resolve this uh, common issue. And this has happened to myself as well and it can be quite frustrating. So first off, let's uh, take a look at what we can do here on Windows 7. So what I would do first is I would open up a command prompt and stop and start that service or you can go into services itself. So if you want to go into services, you can type services in the uh, start search area there. And once that's open, you want to pull this open a bit. And inside here, you're looking for the update. Uh, service for Windows updates. So we need to pull this up so we can see. Windows update. So here we have the Windows update and if you double click on this you will see it is running. Now what you can do is sometimes stop this and then start this again and sometimes that might fix a lot of those issues. Uh, that's the first step I would take first and then if that doesn't work, so deleting all the software distribution folder can sometimes solve a lot of issues. And to do that, we can go into computer, C drive, Windows, and then software distribution. Now this is the same for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows XP. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Now to delete all this uh, content inside here, you need to stop the Windows service, update service. So you need to go to here, services, open up the services tab. Once this is open, come down to the Windows updates. And then what you need to do is stop this service. Stop the service and then you can delete all the content inside the software distribution folder. This fixes a lot of issues, corruption, and then you can delete all of this content inside here. And you can see there's a lot of content inside there. Once that's all been deleted, you can then restart that service by just clicking on start. We'll move on to the next step, which is uh, updating some files that are essential for the update to work on Windows 7. So let's take a look at some updates that we can use to try and resolve this issue. There's three of them here, and these are essential to try and fix this common issue. So you can see here, you wanna come down and look for the supported version for your Windows. So if you're using Windows 7, it's 32-bit or 64-bit. As I said before, if you don't know what version you got, you can go to your Start button, right-click on Computer, go Properties, and this will tell you the version of operating system that you're using. Once you know it's 64-bit or 32-bit, you can come back here and select the right version for you. So we know this one is 64-bit. We click on this and it will take you to this page and you can see the number there. And I will list these in the description for you. 
So we're going to download that version. Select your language. And you can see that now coming down. So the next one, we want to come here as well. Come to the download center area and look for the version that you're using. I'm going to download this as well. You can select your language. You have turn the install instructions here if you need to look at the install instructions. I'm going to go to the third and final one here. I'm going to download this one as well. We can now go to our downloads area and get these files. You can see this one is uh, here, it's still coming down. So we've got a couple of them here. So I'm going to click on the first one, but the, before I do this, I want to make sure that the service update service is not running. And to do that, we can either go back to services or we can do this in command prompt. I'm going to run this as administrator. Now what we want to do here we want to stop the service and this will stop the service just like we did before but we did it in services now we can try to update this so what we're going to do is prepare this update And it will say do you want to install the following I'm going to say yep and let that go into our updates it wants to restart but I'm going to close this and do the next one and it'll ask us do we want to install that again I'm going to say yes it's asking us to restart And that should start to install those updates. Now let's get back to the desktop. And we'll install this one. And that's complete. Okay, so if you're still having issues then there's a couple more updates that you might want to try to install here. So I'm going to try and do these ones here. Just click on the download button. These are for 64-bit. You can see the uh, download. It should come down. And also this one we want to get as well. Now remember if you're running a 32-bit you need to download the 32-bit version. Okay. This is for 64-bit. There is a 32-bit version. So once they're down, we can go to our downloads end area, and it's the 369 this time. And we want to say yes here. And let that install. Okay, that's complete. And I'm going to reboot this and then we're going to install the 605. So let's quickly reboot. OK, 
okay, let's go ahead and do that 605 now. We'll just let this one install. This one's a slightly bigger update. Now these do take sometimes a bit of time to install, so be patient, don't cancel them, just give them time to install on the system. I'm gonna click yes. Okay, so now we need to restart our computer. This will start to configure your Windows update and get it ready. And there we go, that's starting to configure the Windows updates now. You can then restart that service by just clicking on Start. we're back at the desktop now so what we're going to do now is attempt to try our Windows updates to see whether they're working again and you can see now that we have the updates available and that's important that we installed all of these as soon as we get a chance now if you don't see this and you want to uh, try to fix a lot of these issues I'll show you some other steps that you can take if you don't get to this area now your problem should be fixed by now but if you're still having some issues then you can also try the troubleshooting uh, tool by Microsoft if you go to this website here um, you can see the Windows update troubleshooter and there's two types there's the Windows 8 and Windows 7 Windows Vista, Windows XP. Windows 10 has this also, but we'll look at that again. So we're going to hit run now. And all you need to do here is called the Windows Update Diagnostic, but it is actually the new name for it is a Troubleshooter. It's going to click OK here, and this will open this up. Now, also here inside Windows, you can go to a control panel and put Type T up the top and you'll see the troubleshooting up the top here as well which is built into Windows but we can use this here so what you want to do is go to advanced and then go next and let this run and as you can see here service registration is missing or corrupt and that's fixed that issue so you can see here it does do a pretty good job so the next thing uh, that you can do is if you're still having issues after all those fixes, then what you can do is use uh, an offline uh, update. Now again, you can use this for other versions of Windows. And this here is the WSUS offline update. You need to download uh, the actual program itself. And then once you've got this downloaded, uh, you can run it and get all the latest updates for all the Office products. So we can click on this, save as, and we can put this in our downloads. I'm just gonna stick it onto the desktop here and let that come down. Now once you've got this down, we're gonna open this up and drag this onto our desktop here. Now again, can't stress enough that what you want to do is get all the latest updates and create an uh, image of that Windows with all those updates on it so you can use that in future installations so you don't have to keep going through this process so you can see we've got a folder in here now and this is called the update generator and you've got your client here so update generator click on this and run it and inside here just close this down at the back inside here you'll have your windows 32-bit and your 64-bit as you can see so you can choose what you want to choose and you can see the windows 10 is here also so if you're having trouble with windows 10 or 8 or 7 you can use this program to get all your latest updates 
Now, every time you download an ISO from uh, Windows 10 also, that, that will have all the latest updates in it as well. So that's very important. We want to also verify your downloads and updates. That's very important to make sure you got all the latest ones. Everything's working okay. Now, if you're using the Windows Defender definitions, you may want to include the Windows uh, Defender definitions as well. Now you can create an ISO here as well or you can use your USB drive. Now also here we have Office, so if you've got Office installed you can also download your Office stuff and your legacy products here. So we're just going to look at uh, the Windows part here. Now again, depending on what you're going for, we're going for 64-bit, multilingual updates, and then all you need to do once you've got this done is click start. This will open up a command prompt box and this will start to download all the updates. Once you've got all that done, you're pretty much uh, good to go there. You can come out of here and go back into that folder and all the updates will be down. And inside here, you'll have inside the client folder there will be the update installer and this will update all the, in, um, all the installers that you've just downloaded from uh, Microsoft. And this is pretty much the same thing. You just open this up and it will search your area here inside your downloads, the one that's downloaded, and then you just select what you want to do here. Automatic reboot and recall. This is in case you want to do uh, silently where you can walk away from the system and it will do that for you and once you've done this it will slipstream all those in uh, updates into your windows and you should then have all the latest updates and that's pretty much it uh, for windows 7 okay so i just wanted to quickly show you some windows 10 here so you've got your Windows Update Troubleshooter for Windows 10 as well and I will put the link in the description for you. You can hit this here and it will do the same thing as what it did uh, on Windows 7. As you can see, Windows Update Diagnostic. Again, the same thing with the search area here. You just put trouble inside here and you will see troubleshooting and inside here you can look view all you can look at all your troubleshooting areas inside Windows 10 another area which I wanted to point out which was the software distribution it'll be this PC C Drive Windows and software distribution okay same thing would be for services works in Windows 10 as you can see Windows update exactly the same so the process for Windows 10 would be the same uh, but the updates would be slightly different because obviously the Windows updates are not the same in Windows 10 as they are in Windows 7. Windows 7 for the being stuck or just checking all the time is very common for Windows 7. It's not so common in Windows 10. So really that's how you can troubleshoot a lot of issues with Windows 7, 8, 10 or even XP. So I hope this one helps you out guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers, you can head over to the forums. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching guys. I hope this one helps you out. Bye for now.